great afternoon. Today is Sunday, March the 6th, and my name is Sydney Christine Bates, and I am your infinite muse, with muse being an acronym for manifesting unique self-expression. I, I wanted to come today because, you know, I am a, a Christian I am a kingdom citizen. I am a spiritual being and I have uh, a spiritual community that I partake in. Um, Many people all over the globe are um, doing their fasts and and we call it our consciousness journey um, because it is the Lenten season. Last Wednesday, I began Um, the Lenten season with Ash Wednesday. And if you want to know more about that, just Google it. Um, Again, all over the world, people are celebrating uh, the Lenten season. And with all that we have been uh, receiving through the teachings, through uh, the book that we're reading, uh, Keys to the Kingdom by Dr. Darrell R. Pulley, um, so much that's happening. And I was in meditation and prayer and uh, just before the Lord and it came to me that those things that I have desired, um, I'm watching the planet respond and there are times when I feel that that which I desire to do is somehow being hindered by what's happening in the world, but that's not true. That is not true. I I choose to see it as God sees it. I choose to know that I am right where I'm supposed to be. I choose to trust that everything in my life is happening in divine right order. And I cannot be ahead of God. I cannot be behind God. I am in lockstep. And that's from Kingdom, Kingdomology 101. And uh, I choose to trust principle. I choose to trust that God is my source and that uh, spirit is leading me to every resource. And even as I uh, continue uh, to pursue that which God has uh, placed in my my lap, my comforts, my hands, Um, that indeed, because it is God's vision for my life, the provision is already made. And so I want to encourage you today to be encouraged, to not allow what's happening in the earth, to not allow what's even happening within two to three to five to 10 feet of you. Uh, Because the very thing that Uh, You have come here to do the very thing that I've come here to do. It shall be done. I trust the scriptures that that good work that God has begun in me shall be seen through. Absolutely. And um, I trust. I trust that my consciousness in Christ is expanding. I trust. I trust that I am the beloved offspring of God. And I cannot, I cannot lose. I am a winner. Uh, I put my gloves down, y'all, and declare the victory because I am indeed victorious. And so are you. God bless you. And so very specifically, I I recognize that uh, because I am here to lift up and highlight Uh, the very uh, uh, existence and the blessing that uh, creatives are. I believe that creativity is, in fact, uh, part of the balance that humanity is craving. And those of us who create from our beings, those of us whom God has uh, assigned and anointed for artistry and and authorship and being an artisan, those who use their hands um, to create. We don't do it 
um, for the sake of doing it. It is a part of who we are. And I believe that God, that, that this uh, is such a time that I have uh, formed A to the Third Inc. for such a time as this. Because um, what I have noticed or what I am noticing is that those persons who um, have been working in their crafts and in their gifts for years and years, um, I believe so much that it is indeed our time to start reaping uh, that harvest. Uh, we've sown into other people's visions and lives. We have uh, given away our work. Um, we have sown our art. We have sown our gifts. We have um, not priced our work um, where it can really be a blessing to our lives. Um, and we've done so because there's no real, there's no real path. Um, there's no, there's no book that says, Hey, you know, charge this. And because it's art, I know for myself, we've seen it as volunteer work and there's nothing wrong with that. But there comes a time when you as the artist, as the author, as the artisan, as the musician, as I, I, I use um, acoustic um, for my A. I have uh, the alliteration of all the A's in the creative world. Um, but whatever, however you show up, you have a right to place value on that which you do. And for myself, I, I, I have to uh, go into the stillness and silence um, so that I uh, push myself beyond um, that place where, you know, I have believed, oh, well, you know, maybe I don't charge this much and, you know, mm -mm. no, I value I value my gift. I value myself. And I value the work that God has given to my hands to do. And with that, I, I say, give yourself permission to value all that you do. And um, as you have, um, give yourself license as you have opportunity, then place the, the, the right and the appropriate value on your work. And so I, I am an advocate for creatives. I, I am an advocate at all ages, uh, particularly those who are uh, my age and above and um, who still is coming into um, truly valuing the gift and understanding that it doesn't have to be a supplement. You know what it means. You know exactly what I mean by that. I believe that my gift, your gift, with an S or without, can supply that which you and I need to live day to day. Just as if those who go out to their offices, they expect to have an exchange from what they do every day. And every two weeks or every month or every week, there's an expectation for compensation we have the same right to expect that. God is our source. And I, my prayer for myself and my prayer for you is that we begin to uh, expand our consciousness, our deservability to know that it is possible. There are people already all over the globe that are experiencing uh, abundance and overflow with their gifts. 
I am noticing in many areas now where people are um, taking the shortcuts, taking the, the shortcuts, not really fully knowing or, or, or they're taking the shortcuts to get to the money. Um, I understand now that there is a process that you can, you know, sell a piece of artwork um, as an NFT. I desire to know more about that. Um, so and I believe that whatever we're seeing can be a blessing. So I desire for the resources that we uh, have available, have opportunities for those that, again, create daily, create from their beings, understand that there's more than enough and learn how to tap into um, the resources and the, those things that are out there for those of us who, again, if this is who we are. This is who uh, we show up as, um, as creatives, as uh, art artists and authors and artisans and you know, uh, the, the technology has made it very easy for uh, people to create very quickly um, and to scale very quickly without having um, uh, like putting in a lot of time and thought to art, to uh, writing, to really crafting a something that is meaningful and so don't worry don't worry I've, I've I've gone through that process in my own being and I come to let you know I'm on the other side of that I come to let you know that as authentic as you are remain stay the course remain authentic and true to who you are as a spiritual being first. Remain true to who you are and create from that place of beauty, that place of grace, that place of gratitude, that place of authenticity. And you will do well. It is my prayer that you find your community I am creating uh, the one that I am to create. And we will create together and we will share resources with one another so that we can, uh, as I, I, I call it, eat from the table that God has, has prepared. And again, many things are coming up for me during this time of, of fasting and prayer and teaching and learning and, you know, being very true to myself, um, those places, you know, of, of envy and jealousy and, and uh, high mindedness and resentment, you know, all of the all of that negativity is, is supposed to come up so that I can look at it dead in the face. Deal with it. Recognize that it is not a reflection of who I am in spirit and to release it and let it go. Release it and let it go in love, knowing that all is well. Knowing that all is well. Remain true. Remain authentic and continue the course and God will open up uh, the resources open up the the opportunities, open up the possibilities, open up the uh, transactions that are needed uh, for you and I to feel um, compensated and whole regarding our gifts. Because my gift is a part of my ministry. I recognize that. A part of my domain um, there and there are levels there, you know, uh, spirituality and and um, for me is community and art 
and it's a part of how I express my love for God, how I communicate and express my love for myself and how I communicate and share and express um, God's love to others. It's part of my ministry. It's a big, huge part of my ministry. And I'm dialing that in. I didn't make that up. I, I, I took that from a former uh, spiritual leader. Uh, I'm dialing it in. I'm, I'm allowing it to resonate with my being so that as I am out here in uh, business and in community and uh, forming, um, uh, putting meat to the bones of my nonprofit and really allowing God to, sh to shape and form what's happening. I it has to happen within me. So I understand. I know exactly what you're going through. And I'm here. Again, I know I'm used and very bubbly and, and, and off the chain, but I really want it to come very, uh, very serious, uh, very loving to under to let you know that I, too, I, I, I have those moments. I have those moments when, you know, I have to take a step back and say, OK, am I really on the right path? Yes. My one word for the year is yes with an exclamation point. God has said yes to me. I have said yes to God. I have yes said yes to my uh, path and I won't take it back. I won't take it back. So I bless you. I appreciate you. And I behold the Christ in through and as you. God bless you and we'll see each other again real soon.